Hey guys, happy Saturday and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Wendy and I hope you guys have had an amazing week so far. My week has been insanely busy, which is the reason why I am uploading a Dollar Tree haul on a Saturday instead of my normal Friday haul. So thank you guys so much for always being so patient and understanding with me. I appreciate you. And if you do happen to be new to my channel, I do hope you'll consider subscribing and clicking that subscribe button on your way out, especially if you love Dollar tree hauls because I post new hauls every usually every Tuesday and Friday so I'd love to have you here on my channel before we get into today's haul I do want to quickly mention that I do have my lights turned on pretty bright for this video unfortunately the lighting in this room just isn't the greatest so if you happen to see little floaties across your screen during this video don't panic. I don't have ghosts. At least I don't think I have ghosts in my house. It's just dog hair. I have three dogs and so dog hair is all over everything. My furniture, my clothes, it's floating around in the air and then the lights just pick it up as it passes over the screen. So not a ghost, just dog hair. So I just thought I would share that with you guys because every time I have my lights on I get those comments that there is a ghost in my video and it's actually pretty funny. But I'm going to show you guys my favorite find that I picked up this week and that is this round serving tray that I found in the party section and it has this gorgeous laser cut trim around it and it's pretty large. I'm guessing the diameter is maybe 12 inches, maybe more, maybe 12 to 15 inches in diameter. But I did find this in the party section. And if you guys follow my Instagram or you don't follow my Instagram, when I go into Dollar Tree to do my shopping, I like to post pictures of new finds in my story because I don't actually purchase everything that's new at the Dollar Tree. So I like to post new items in my um, Instagram story. So if you're interested and you have an account and you want to see what's new coming through Dollar Tree before I post a haul video, you can find it there. But in that story, I actually had posted that I found these in a standalone box in the party section. So I didn't find these on a shelf. Dollar Tree sometimes will put like a random display of boxes and then cut open the top box, especially if they don't have like room on the shelves. And that's how I found these trays. Now that doesn't mean that these are gonna be bought in boxes at your Dollar Tree. It kinda just depends on how much room um, each Dollar Tree has on their shelves and their specific like planogram. But that is where I found the serving trays. And I think I'm gonna make a tiered tray out of that, lots of different like farmhouse DIYs you can do with that tray. Also in the party section, I picked up a bunch of wrapping paper this week. I actually just watched um, Shannon, the Daily DIYers, like Dollar Tree Secrets video. And she had said that she picks up Dollar Tree wrapping paper to use as a background and a like surface protector when she does her filming for her DIYs. And I thought that was genius. I don't know why I didn't ever think of that. So I picked up these three colors to do just that. I normally use the craft paper, just the plain craft paper roll um, when I'm doing DIYs to protect my desk. But now that I know of Shannon's little secret tip, I'm definitely going to be picking up more wrapping paper and using that. And I actually use these for a lot of different DIYs as well. This is also great for wrapping a gift and decorating it with Dollar Tree stickers or like coloring it. Um, kids can color a gift after you wrap it. This is great for that as well. And then I found some printed, new printed wrapping paper as well. I love this striped one with this really beautiful like Tiffany blue color and then the yellow and white polka dots. Love these. And then probably my favorite is this new flamingo print and I took it out so I could show you guys. But how cute is this? And I had to dig for this one. It wasn't on the top of the bins where the wrapping paper was. I had to like dig all the way to the bottom to find this print but 
I couldn't pass this up. There's one more that I'm looking for. It's like a Monstera leaf print, I believe, that I've seen on other um, Dollar Tree hauls. And the last things that I picked up in the party section were some gift boxes. So I found this one with a Tiffany blue lid and the gold polka dots. And then I found this one that is pink with gold polka dots and Mother's Day is tomorrow. So if you haven't gotten a gift yet or a means to um, gift your gift, run to Dollar Tree and see if they have these gift boxes because I think they would be perfect for that. And then I found this one with this honeycomb colored pattern on it with a purple lid. So super cute boxes, gift boxes at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree always has like the best gift boxes. Gift boxes, bags, wrapping paper. That's the only place I go for like gift giving um, materials. All right, now let's move on to some shocking finds that I found in the hair accessories aisle. I found all of these head wraps, these knit head wraps. These are by Dollar, Dollar Tree's new branding, Juncture. They have um, tote bags, they have hats, scarves. Now they have these head wraps. And look at the quality of these, you guys. The quality is amazing, they feel amazing. So I found five different colors, I dropped one of them. I found five different colors and what's interesting about these is they have these buttons on the side that you can use to attach your face mask. So some states still do require face masks, California does, I know some states don't, but even if you're not using this as like a face mask holder, these are beautiful to wear with a really cute, I'm thinking fall or winter outfit, or if you live in a cold climate, these would be perfect to keep your head warm. I'm definitely saving these for the winter time, fall and winter time to wear because it just doesn't really get too cold here in San Diego. So I thought this was an amazing find for a dollar. Super excited to find those. Now let me show you guys some toys that I found in the toy section this week at Dollar Tree, starting with this Play-Doh Da Vinci. And I love the play on words because it's like an art set. So you get this art gun, two colors, and then a base with the image on it. So let me turn the lighting down for this. See how dark it gets in here? Okay. So right here is like an image of, it looks like a hot air balloon, and then you just use the gun and kind of paint with it. So I thought this was an awesome find. I love hauling things like this from the Dollar Tree because I actually have a small gift closet that I kind of build up during the year, and then during Christmas I use them as like stocking stuffers, or I make gifts or give them to toy drives. So this is like a perfect item for that. And then this item was really nostalgic for me, this toy, because um, when I was growing up as a kid in the 90s, I had a Skip It. And Dollar Tree has this ankle spinner that lights up. So I thought this was so fun, so nostalgic for me, brought back so many memories. And so I picked this up for my daughter and obviously it's not like the same as the actual Skip It. If I remember correctly, the Skip It had a counter on it um, that would count how many times it like, I guess, revolved around your ankle. But I thought this was really cute. So I did pick that up for my daughter. And then I found a bunch of these like construction vehicles in the toy section. And I actually picked these up for my friend and my neighbor's, um, actually her little boy. Whenever she comes over to visit, she brings her kids to play and she has two little girls and a little boy and they all like to play with my daughter and her toys. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of toys that appeal to him. So I thought I would pick him up 
some little tractors and toys for him to play with when they're all playing outside in my backyard. So I did pick those up for him. Just a few home decor finds this week. I did find this wooden tag looking password sign. Dollar Tree has been putting out a ton of like these chalkboard looking um, password signs. And I actually did a DIY with one of them recently. But when I saw this, I thought of saving it until Christmas and then painting this whole area and then maybe doing like a Christmas countdown. So I did pick up this one. There was multiple colors and like stains available, but I just picked up this one. And then I found these new candle votives in these beautiful gold plant prints. I'm going to turn down the lighting again so you can see it better. But this one just has like fern leaves on it and this one has palm leaves. Really, really beautiful. So I did pick up those. And then I found this ceramic camera. And I picked this up for my sister because she is a photographer. So really cute tabletop decor. There was one other camera in a different style, but that one wasn't as cute as this one. So I just got that one. All right, now let's get into some crafting supplies and stationery. I did pick up some wooden clothespins from the crafters square section. These are almost two inches long, which I think is new, at least new to me because the only other clothespins that I've seen in the crafter square section are like super, super tiny. And I do have those. So I decided to pick these up. You get 24 in this package and those are great for crafting. Then I decided to pick up this liquid adhesive glue or glue. <laughs> this is perfect for embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard trims, and an easy to use applicator. I've seen this every single time I've gone to Dollar Tree and I don't know why I've never picked it up because I'm kind of like a glue hoarder or a goo hoarder. I just, I'm always looking for a better glue. I have a ton of glue, so I don't know why this one wasn't in my crafting stash of glue. And then I picked up this cotton twine in black never seen this before a dollar tree this is 180 feet in this roll now let me show you guys some stationery that i picked up this week at the dollar tree i'm kind of a stationery addict because i like to use them in my journaling so i did find some new magnetic list pads I have a ton of these. I don't know, always just put them on my refrigerator. Again, I also use them for my journals. This one has a lemon theme. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade in the packaging. The shiny packaging is gonna give me a hard time. So that one is super cute. And then I found a watermelon print and it just says, hello, sweet summer. I really love these. And then this one, probably my favorite, the strawberries. So I picked up these new magnetic list pads. And then I found these cute notebooks. And I picked them up for my daughter because she just loves drawing. She, she comes home from school and she does her homework. And then she just draws for hours and hours. It's like her favorite thing to do. But I found these notebooks. This one's my favorite. And the cover is like this puffy texture, which is really fun. And the inside of the notebooks are just blank, which is perfect because she, again, draws a lot. And then I found a mermaid and then a unicorn. These would be also great stocking stuffers if you want to um, start saving things for Christmas. And then I just needed... Um, some of these legal mini notepads. There's three in here and I just like to have these on my desk for when I'm on the phone and I need to make notes or if I'm um, writing down notes from researching on the computer. So I picked up those. And then the last, I guess, like crafting item, stationary item is this 
rub on transfer sheet. I love these, but I've never seen this one before. And it has like this vintage fashion theme, which like the vintage looking stickers are my favorite again, because I love to use them in journaling. Lots of different projects you can do with these rub on transfers. They're amazing. So I found some very interesting books in the book section this week at Dollar Tree. And you guys are going to have to hear me out on this book because I bought one about Pope Francis <laughs> and it is huge. It is really, really heavy and it originally retailed for $50 in the US and $65 in Canada. And it says the only Vatican endorsed illustrated biography of the beloved pontiff filled with rarely seen photographs and 50 removable documents. And that's what intrigued me about this book was the removable documents because this was actually wrapped in plastic. Actually, all the books were wrapped in plastic when I bought them. So I couldn't preview um, what was inside the books. But when I heard removable documents... I was like, hmm, maybe that's something that I can use in my journals. It does come in a case. And so inside the book, it has all of these pockets that, let me show you guys a good example. It has pockets with the removable documents. First of all, this is a gorgeous book. I kind of want to read about the Pope now, <laughs> but I have these documents in here that look like like vintage looking ephemera so that I can use in my junk journals and in my art journals. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I do have a junk journal playlist on my channel and I actually did a video a couple of years ago um, about everything about what junk journaling is. If you guys are interested, I will link it for you. But inside the book are all of these copies of photographs, documents, um, pamphlets, postcards, pictures, all having to do with the Pope or the Vatican, which is really, really just a like gold mine for art journalers and junk journalers if you're into that. And so I will probably actually do an overlay of like all of the different documents that I found in this book. There's a ton of it. There's like newspaper articles in here. Um, there's programs and just honestly a jackpot if you are a journaler. So I definitely plan on using everything that's removable in this book. Like, oh my gosh, that drawing. Let me see. I'd be so excited. I plan on eat. Yes, it's in here. Like, look how gorgeous this chalice is. So pretty. And then like pictures and cards. So I definitely plan on using all of the things that are removable from this book um, for journaling purposes. And this is a rare occasion where I don't feel comfortable actually like tearing um, pages or images out to use in journal just because it, it's about the Pope even though I'm not Catholic I don't really feel comfortable um, <laughs> doing that so I'll just like use all of the removable pieces for journaling purposes. The next book I found was this the Rose Art Museum at Brandy's which I think is a um, college in Boston or Massachusetts somewhere and this originally retailed for $60 in the US and $78 in Canada. So this is just works of art that are in that museum. So there are some very, I guess, not notably or known um, artists in here like Pablo Picasso. You definitely have to have, I guess, an appreciation for art to want to pick this book up, but I just immediately thought of like a coffee table book and I love art and it's something that I have definitely like come to appreciate more as I've gotten older and more mature. Cause when I was a kid, stuff like this just wasn't appealing or interesting to me. So when I saw this, I, it, it definitely sparked my interest and especially because I recently watched a documentary on Netflix called 
Um, and I highly recommend this documentary, especially if you love art <clears throat> and um, I guess just like mysteries. It was a documentary that's called This is a Robbery and it's the world's biggest art heist that happened in, I think, 1990. And there is currently still a $10 million reward for this stolen art from the museum. It's the Isabella um, Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. And it's just a very interesting documentary and definitely sad that those um, works of art were stolen. But if you guys like art and I guess have the appreciation for art, I think this is an, an excellent pickup. And again, I just plan on using this as like a coffee table book because it's beautiful. And so, yeah, I picked up that one. And then the last book I picked up is by Nedko Solikov and it's called 99 Fears. And I think I have the insert I, when I took it out of the um, plastic. But this book is 99 Real and Imagined Anxieties of Modern Life Drawn with Sharp Wit and Offbeat Humor by Bulgarian artist Nedko Solikov. So these, I was reading a few of them and they're kind of funny. They're just these pieces of art or his works of art with like descriptions of just ridiculous fear. Not, I wouldn't say ridiculous fear. Some of them are kind of funny, but so yeah, I was just going through reading them. Definitely a coffee table book. And I think I'm going to give this to... Um, my sister-in-law because she's a psychologist and I think she would, I don't know, I think she would find this book enjoyable. So I did pick that up. In the cooking utensil aisle, I did pick up more of these cabinet shelves. I do use these a lot for vertical storage in my home, vertical organization. I have some right here that I use to um, organize some of my craft supplies, as well as use the new Dollar Tree baskets that I found. I also use them in my spice cabinet. I use them in my coffee mug cabinet. These are an excellent pickup, and I've seen a ton of different hacks for organization on different channels that you can use these for as well. These cover-ups by Surefresh are a repeat purchase for me, and I was actually kind of worried um, that they stopped making these because the last um, couple of months that I've been to Dollar Tree looking for them, I haven't been able to find them in multiple Dollar Tree. So um, I did find two at the Dollar Tree this week, so I grabbed them both. These are awesome. They have three different sizes of cover-ups in here, and they're so much easier than using the um, plastic cover-up that's on a roll. I hate I hate the cellophane or like the plastic that's on a roll. It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. So I love using the Dollar Tree Sure Fresh cover-ups. These are perfect if you're having a barbecue outside um, to keep flies out of the food. You can just pop on one of these covers. And again, there's three different sizes. And who remembers the video? Um, it has to have been more than a year that I posted when I was talking about that I didn't know that this came in three different sizes and I was wondering why some of the covers fit and some of them didn't and uh, and then I realized when I read the box that yeah there's three different sizes in here and they are um distinguishable by the the color band on the cover up so I did pick up two of those I found this awesome condiment bottle set for ketchup and mustard it says grill, eat, chill, and repeat. You could also put hot sauce, hot sauces in there as well. Um, I just think of ketchup and mustard when I see the lid colors. And then this one says cold drinks, good eats, and barbecue. I think this would look amazing in a Father's Day gift basket. And I love how Dollar Tree um, did prints on these or words. I think that's awesome because they normally just do like the plain bottles, which I recently purchased, but I thought this was excellent again for a Father's Day gift basket or like a barbecue basket. And the very last items I picked up were all food items. I found organic Barilla penne pasta, and I actually picked up three boxes of these. Last week I found the Barilla whole wheat 
angel hair pasta, which I was really excited about. And then this week I found organic pasta by Varilla. This is definitely not a dollar in the supermarket, so I thought this was a score. And I like to make different like pasta salads and things like that during the summer months for sides for barbecue. And then I picked up two boxes of brownie mix. I found Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge. And then this one looked really, really good. And it's brownie cookie bar mix. Brownie cookie bar mix with semi-sweet chocolate drops. And it really stinks because I'm not doing sugar right now, any extra processed sugar, but I do like to make my kids and my husband treats. I don't want them to suffer like I am because I'm trying to lose weight and sugar for me right now is a big no. So I did pick up these because we don't normally keep like ice cream and like sweets and stuff like that in the house. Um, every once in a while, we will take the kids out for like frozen yogurt or um, an ice cream or something, but we normally don't buy um, like desserts because we don't eat dessert every day. So I just thought I would treat them with some homemade brownies from mom. All right, guys, that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. It really helps my channel out when you guys rate my videos. And again, please don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you love Dollar Tree hauls and want to see more from me. Also, don't forget to click your notification bells if you want to be notified of every time I upload a new video because I also do Dollar Tree and budget-friendly DIYs as well as journaling-related videos on my channel as well. So definitely click those notification bells. And I do want to wish all of you amazing moms out there a very, very happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that you feel loved and appreciated. So a very happy Mother's Day to you. Until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.